All right, good morning, folks. Um, I, I have a Tenma 72-8350A power supply that I picked up from Micro Center yesterday. Um, just a, an inexpensive hobbyist desktop power supply. Um, zero to 20 volts, up to five amps. Actually has some really cool features. Um, it's a fairly nice unit, but I've discovered a small issue and I wanna capture that now. On the right, I have my Fluke 287. You can see the voltage reading now. So <clears throat> I presently have the Fluke connected to the Tenma. Um, let's go ahead and turn this on. First of all, the display is quite nice, but already troubling. You saw the big spike on the right of power, even though it says the output is turned off. And you can see that there's, you know, a capacitor draining or something. Um, but it, it definitely starts with that circuit closed. But the, the big thing that I want to talk about <clears throat> is over here on the right, you'll see that it says 5.32 volts. But when I turn the adjustment knob, I have the adjustment set to 5 volts, but it's telling me 5.32 are coming out. Have it set to 5. Now just to show, set to 5, but it says 5.32. When I close the output, you'll notice that according to the fluke, that 5.32 is correct. That, um, so this is kind of troubling because if I wanted five volts and I, and I go and I turn this to five volts like that, I'm actually getting a third of a volt more. <clears throat> if we, let's amp it up. We'll take it up to 10 volts and see what happens. Actually, what's nice is I can just do that. So if I set it at 10 volts, 10.33, so still a third of a volt higher than I want. That means if I set it all the way up at 20. 0.35, so fairly consistently a third of a volt more than what the screen reads. And I can tell you it does this kind of regardless of the load, although last night I had a, uh, a 30 milliamp load on it, <clears throat> and this number um, sometimes would get as high as 0.42 volts. Um, so if with this particular model, well, I shouldn't say model, with this particular sample, if I want 5 volts, I actually have to come in and set it on 4.67. Maybe that's a 4.66. And now I've got my 5 volts. So I'm going to be returning this today and uh, trying to see if I can get another unit that doesn't do this. So thank you for watching.